creating a parametric steel section. In this video, we will learn to use advanced parametric modeling to create steel sections that can be placed as cells in a design. Parametric modeling in MicroStation Connect Edition allows greater flexibility than the steel app supported in MicroStation V8i. In this video, we will create a steel C-section cell and insert it in a design. So let's get started. We will first create variables and variations that will later be used in the design. In a fresh design file, create a new 3D model named C-section. In the create model dialog, make sure the ability to place as cell is turned on and cell type is set to parametric. Also ensure that the file location points to the configuration variable ms underscore cell. Click the constraint tab and open the variables dialog. In the variables dialog, select local variables and click new to create a new variable. I will type in the name C depth to define the depth of the steel section. In the variable definition, define type as distance and scope as instance. I'll set display to hidden and let expression be none. Let the active value be one. In the same way, you can create other variables for flange length, flange thickness, web thickness, and section length. For C section length, I have set display to visible so that we can edit it during placement of the cell if needed. Let us now create variations for the steel section based on different sizes. I am creating variations based on the AISC steel 99 table. Section sizes from any other steel table can also be used. Select variations and click new. I will name this variation C4 by 5.4. Type in the corresponding values for the variables based on the steel table. You should note here that the C section length variable does not come from any standard but is driven by the design needs. Once all the values are filled in, the variation is ready. Likewise, you can create as many variations as needed. Here you can see that I have created a few other variations. We will now create an item type to attach to the steel section. An item type is a set of user-defined properties that describe an element. For the C section, we will create an item type to define business information like make, grade of steel used, and shape of the section. Go to the content tab and launch the item types dialog. Here, click on the new item type library icon to create a new item type library named Structural. Click the new item icon to create a new item type named Steel section. Now click the new property definition icon to add properties to the item types. Don't forget to save this newly created item type before closing the dialog. Our groundwork is done and the model is now ready with variables, variations and item type created. Let's now create the C section in this model. Draw a simple C section profile using the place line or smart line tool.
Place the top left corner of the profile and the ACS at the origin to fix the insertion point for the cell. Let us now apply 2D geometric constraints to the profile. We will first apply parallel constraint to the edges. Next, we will apply perpendicular constraint to the adjacent edges. Now we'll apply a fixed constraint to the insertion point and an adjacent edge. Finally, to make the two flanges equal, we will apply equal constraint to the edges of both the flanges. We will now apply distance constraints to the profile based on the variables that we have created. Once the constraints are all applied, we can test the variations. Select the variation and select apply. The profile changes based on the selected variation. All the variations seem to work fine. At this point, I will attach the item type that I created earlier to the C section. In the attach item dialog, browse and attach the steel section item type. Once attached to the C section, the item type properties are displayed in the properties dialog where you can type in relevant information. For make, I will type in the company name. Grade of steel used. And the shape, which is C. Let's now extrude this 2D profile to create a 3D cell. Switch to isometric view and open the solid by extrusion tool setting. Here link the variable C section length with distance. Extrude the profile. The C section cell is now ready for use. Let's now try and place this cell in a design. Open the file where you want to insert the cell. In the Place Active Cell tool setting, browse and attach the steel section cell library. Set the C section cell as active. In the variations drop down, you can see all the variations of the cell. You can also see the C section length variable since its display was set to visible in the variables dialog. Select the desired variation and insert it where required. As 
you can see for this variation we will have to adjust the length. We can do so in the tool setting. The cells are inserted. You can now associate an element template with the cell to define its properties. Element templates are named set of properties like level, color, line style, line weight, material, etc. that can be associated with elements. Using element templates helps maintain greater consistency, especially in the case of complex drawings. Enable the element template association from the attributes ribbon group. Select the steel section and in the properties pane from the template drop down, select an element template to associate. The template name and its associated properties are displayed in the properties pane. Here I have used a template that I have previously created in a DGN library. You can create custom element templates and store in the DGN file or in a DGN library. Alternatively, you can also associate an element template from the attributes ribbon group before placing the cell. To create parametric cells for other types of sections, you can create separate models for each type in the same file and follow the same procedure. To save time, you can export the variables and variations to an Excel file and then import it while creating other sections. Here's a quick summary of the steps involved in creating a steel section. In a new model, define variables and variations. Create a new item type. Draw the 2D profile of the section and apply geometric and distance constraints. Extrude the profile to create a 3D element and then test the variations. And finally, place the section as a cell in a design. You can also try creating other types of sections like L, W, WT, TS, pipe, etc. following the same procedure.